are simulating the NFL playoffs. And like I said before in the other two previous videos, but in case you're new and haven't watched the other two previous videos, I cannot figure out how the NFL playoffs work. The wild cards and stuff. So I'm just doing top two teams of every division go against each other and then they advance. It's Matt. NFL for every division, and then we'll do like each like bracket style. This is so we got Super Bowl champion here. On EA Sports. But we already did the AFC East and West. And the Dolphins and the Chiefs the ones so will go against each other. So now we got the AFC North, I think. Yeah. And it's gonna be the Ravens and Bengals because they're the top of their division. Justin Tucker set to boom this one away. And we are underway from Cincinnati. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. But the Bengals get like set for their first possession of the ball game like and it. leading them Raven out in his quarter, third season. Really the face of Cincinnati football. So we had Joe snow, Burrow. rain, and wind. There's Joe it Mixon off as they start on the ground. And Barely now a whole lot of room there. to operate there on the first down run. He gets made the game. three. Well, that's just a personal uh, battle he's there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? I, who can I stand up and make a play. It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, and four hours, that that will feel start. like, okay, I can stand I'm up when the door gets to me here. Maybe two games. This one and maybe another Back to one Mixon more. on second down. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Are y'all ready for a tough nice spot here board? on their opening drive? This is third and seven. Third and now seven. Burrow. Not making it anywhere. Go Burrow. Start He's throwing now. This one deep Go right deep. Side. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Incomplete. I thought he caught that. Give them credit. They took their and shot. The but it's going to bring up fourth down. And we're going to see this offense try and spread the field a little bit. And you like the outside third of the angles. field, especially against man coverage. This is but my second time, favorite team. The defense was up to the task, teams. forcing the incompletion. Oh, she's real proud of me. Probably here. Third and seven. Third and So now the Cincinnati native, also former Bearcat, and now a Bengal, Kevin Huber, to punt it away. That was a pretty good kick, though. He's going to drop, so it's not going to be 37 yards there on the punt. Horrible and the Ravens, yes. they'll take over. Here come the Ravens, and that means here comes Lamar Jackson, league's MVP and an all-pro in 2019. Early part of his career, defense has really had to focus on his running ability, and <laughs> still do, but now he's turned himself into a true dual-threat quarterback. <laughs> when he plants his cleats in the ground and turns it loose, good yeah, things nope. happen downfield. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helps to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Line of scrimmage, the 43 on second and four. They'll go option Lamar's to the short side. For the quick feet by Jackson. Run it for a and he nearly game. sprung in that time first as he takes this all the way down to the 37. The so not his arm, Ravens. but hurting him with his legs. A gain of 19 on the keeper and a first down. And this, I mean, it's certainly something to watch out for. He is not afraid to call his own number on plays like that. And here he takes it for good yardage. And we know this defense prepared all week for this, but sometimes when you see it in person, it's a whole different ball game, and all that preparation, it goes right out the window. So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 at the 37-yard line. Again, Jackson will Lamar's keep it. Lamar's going to run it again. 
And he works his way free all the way down to the outskirts oh, of the road they zone. Not stop 17 more running. yards on that one as they Lamar keep the drive rolling. Back. I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it's that that it's time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. First carry now for Gus Edwards. And a couple of yards as they move it from the 21 to the 19. DJ Reader there on the tackle. football here as we begin quarter number two as they've got a second and eight forthcoming and they run with Edwards off the option and just a couple yards there down to the 17 just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry no not at all they did a really nice job standing in proper places and not allowing any lanes to water honestly and a nickel look here for the Bengals as they try to defend this on third Here's Jackson. No, he's not gonna run it. He's gonna let the throw it. Side is complete to Andrews. He's tied in. Complete, but now it's fourth and two. Inside the 15, either the 13 or 14, before he's out of bounds. So a really it looks easy like they got field goal, but they got the completion, but they weren't able to break any tackles or gain nearly enough yardage to pick up the first down. Now to be fourth and short. They're going for it. They'll try and throw for it with Jackson. He gets He's it. got his tight end. That's Andrews. And the Ravens are going to have first and goal as they try wow. to finish off this drive with six first points. Well, the feel that I get on this, this is that they felt like three was just not going to be enough after getting this deep into their territory. And Charles, correct me if I'm wrong, but it didn't even look like they hesitated there. They knew they wanted to go for it. That tells me that during the week, they were thinking about these situations and they feel like maybe they're just the better team and they want to go ahead and prove it conclusively. So first and goal from the nine yard line. To throw is Jackson. Flush to his right. He's gonna run it. Touchdown. And he is out of bounds here. He'll oh, get eight on the scramble there. Touchdown. It'll be second and a couple. Like I did like his decision making there to make sure they picked up something instead of forcing a throw. Yeah, this is going to be a touchdown for the Ravens. Coming up to try and pick up the first down. the Bengals down fight back to get their own touchdown. And he just keeps it and runs again. Good yardage on first down. Now can they punch it in on second and goal? They'll run the toss here. Edwards. And oh. this one will wind up with him losing yardage. Back to the four-yard line. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. Do is, uh, and now third and goal clean. coming up, the loss on second down. Like that just means this crowd's going to get even louder, and they'll get a little bit of extra help from the defenders as they exhort them to join them in the effort. Maybe, maybe the Bengals can make a stop here. That could be really good for the Bengals. Big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Third and goal. Jackson now. Dancing to his left. They're running. Touchdown, Ravens. Lamar Jackson runs it in. Touchdown. Lamar Jackson taking it in from four yards out. And the Ravens post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Now this defense, so many things to worry ball, about in the red zone the area, wins. but you'd have to almost think that Lamar Jackson running the football, that might be number one. It should be number one, and in this portion of the field where things shrink a little bit because the receivers can't run past anyone because they'll run out of real estate, you should have all eyes on Lamar Jackson when the ball is snapped and try and keep it back in the pocket. Yeah, Let's I don't think that they the were surprised he was running it there. Ball. They just couldn't stop him, and he ends that up in the end zone. Like Tucker with the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive, and it was capped off by the touchdown run that came from Lamar Jackson. Silvero practicing up there. Now 
not looking good for the Bengals here. And I, yeah, Ravens will start with the ball at the end of the half. In the next half, second half, Ravens start with the ball. Tucker now to kick it away following here. the touchdown. They got one minute to do something. This is taken just shy of the 10. And they will ring them down a couple of yards shy of the 30. What can the Bengals do with a minute and 20 seconds left? Drive. Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they That's need it right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this all is the exactly why you practice right a two-minute drill all through camp. And at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together. Reach the end zone and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal... Get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock. Oh, their defense very can delayed catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave oh, up the score. Oh, they're late time out there. Seven up. Working with a second and four. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. He finds his running back, Mixon. The There's the timeout. Whoever, the whoever the wins this game will play the Eagles. The stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. And whoever wins that game. Throwing now, Burrow on first down. Now Burrow he's looking, he's and he sacked. Get rid of it. He's taken down. Calais Campbell, credit him with a sack, and it goes as a loss of six. Second and no matter what the situation, the O-line just hates that because they feel like they didn't protect little brother back there, right? Man, that's just so difficult for them because just think about every single play. When you decide to throw the football, you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet. You talk about guys that they weren't playing football, they'd be starring in the NBA at power forward. It's this really is a long double. That field goal unit, we gotta get ready to get out there. The Ravens bring out an extra defensive back here on third. Burrow will throw. And that will be incomplete with the clock showing 18 seconds now to go. Goal unit. It certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that he one in. I would yarder. say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and not get away. So on fourth down, on comes the left-footed punter, Kevin Huber, to punt it away. And now a high kick trying to pin him back. I call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And with eight seconds on the clock, really not a lot of time to try to put anything together. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. So we have reached halftime here with the visiting Ravens. The Charles, give me water. Just check. They cut off the halftime show again. <clears throat> Quicker than anticipated. Ready for the start of the second half. Freezing. The Ravens ready to receive it, and they've got the lead as well as we resume play in the second half. And we will not have a run back here as the second half starts with a touchback. Out come the Ravens now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. Their defense has pitched the shutout. Now they probably need to deliver a little breathing room, maybe make it a two-score game as they've got it first and ten. 
Here's Jackson to throw. He's got his man. It's Andrews. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Jackson, open man is Duvernay. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. Barney, you know when we call a game, we talk about Lamar Jackson and his speed and his elusiveness and the ability to get him on the ground, how tough that is for a defense. But how about his development as a thrower, as a professional? Edwards now on first and 10. Wow. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. They run the option here on first and 10. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Five yards remain on second down. The Jackson going to run again. They'll get two on the keeper, but it becomes now a third down. Well, anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expecting to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Jackson looking to throw on third. He'll set up the screen to Dre. They're going to get it. And he's going to get this down near the 25. And that's a gutsy call there on third and short because that's a play that's got a good chance of being blown up in the backfield for a big loss of yardage. But nice job out wide to gather in that screen pass, use his blockers well, and pick up the first down. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. On first down, they go option to the right. Give him four yards there on the first down keeper. Well, if you're going to run the read option, typically, you've got to keep an eye on the defensive end. And what does that mean? What are you looking for with the defensive end? Well, you want to play off of what he does. If he collapses inside towards the running back, then you pull it and take it yourself outside in. If he stays outside, you go ahead and leave it with the running back. In this case, pulled it and got good yardage himself. On second down, it's Edwards. And he is going to be close to a first down as the tackle made at the Bengals' 15-yard line. That's going to be a six-yard gain. It leaves him with third down and just a yard to go. Now the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes. Well, and we got a one-score game. Bengals, honestly. So it's Raven football here as we welcome you I back. Think all hope is They're lost facing for a Bengals. critical third down now as they try to hold on to this lead. This so they late. just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll try and run for the first with Edwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. 
And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. They'll run here with Edwards. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. in all probability another run here on second and eight again it's Edwards trying to run inside but nothing there and now we're going to get a timeout defensively so another stop 150 left in the football game on that field but this is a big play third and goal here's Jackson and look at this they get the turnover they need it it's intercepted and a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back I'm surprised with the lead in a one score game this late they're even putting the ball in the air in that situation almost makes me feel like the head coach might be second guessing himself by not clicking on and saying all we're doing is running it here. But give credit to the guys on defense. They made a play that they absolutely had to have to give themselves a chance to be in this game. That's what the Bengals needed, but can they do anything with it? Mixon gets the nod to start the drive. Where and he is swallowed it? up right at the line of scrimmage. Calais Campbell the on the stop. Here. Not in a position where they absolutely have to rush right now, but they definitely have to pick up the tempo a bit. He is not running. Now the Bengals urging everybody to get back to the line of scrimmage. Burrow. Pass complete. Hurst. And he is out up around the 15-yard line. Nine yards, and that leaves him just down. short. So I not believe the referee's yeah. been buzzed. Yeah, they want to take another look at this call, and it's certainly a big one here late in a tight game. Did he keep those feet in bounds? Yeah. That's the question they've got to decide. And I, I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Now, well, here's the call. It's so, good. the folks in New York just going to wind up confirming what the official saw as this play will stand as is. Now, Burrow. Complete to Boyd. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25 yard line. Burrow to Boyd there for the Cincy first. Nice, well coached, a team that understands what's going out. on. They still have time to work the middle of the field as they just did there. First down now, but that clock rolling. Here's Burrow. Forced out to his left. Connecting with Mixon. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 down at the 39. That's a 12-yard gain now on back-to-back -back plays. That's a nice job right there, partner, because they were able to work down the middle of the field, working in the seams, because I think defensively, they were guarding the sidelines, trying to keep them from getting out of bounds. They took what they gave them, and it was successful. I don't know about this play, but we'll see. Throwing, Burrow. And he can't get a throw away. He's no taken down. Done. Patrick Queen got in there to stick him. He gets the sack. They're not going to exactly They're not going to snap the ball in the guy. Guys, stop fumbling. Hail Mary. How about that for a little bit of revenge? Game's over. 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 Game's
for the defense, they Very carried them in a big Edmund way. Yeah, look, the fans. offense obviously stuffed to work on, Very good. but they did enough, and the defense carried the load. You know they said, it's but always fun to work on things. Bengals are out of the playoffs. Well in your game, it's going to be Ravens. With a victory in your pocket, and that's what they've got going forward. Like zero scores this entire game. It was kind of a boring game. But... I gotta go set up the live stream. Um, the for the uh, bro, the chapter free Fortnite live event. So that will be live stream like right now after this video is gonna be live while that is live streaming. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like, subscribe, and go to the live stream right now. Thank you.